Welcome back to the Michael Jordan Challenge. Today, we are doing Pass the Torch. It is the Lakers vs. the Bulls, December 17, 1997. Let's begin. So, we need to win the game, score 36 points, hold Kobe Bryant to under 20, and win by 10 points or more. Go. Michael Jordan is the greatest player ever. Just watching him play, he had tenacity, he had focus, he had drive, he had vision, and Kobe emulated his game out the mic. He did everything Mike did, to walk like him, talk like him, he did everything. He loved Mike. So, you know, the ability to, to go against him that day, just him versus Mike, he lived for stuff like that. So. I remember that game. You know, he just was, he wasn't calling no plays, and every time Mike scored, he knew he had to score. Whatever Mike was doing, he had to do it or outdo him. That's what you do when you go up against a great player, aka your idol. You gotta let him know that you're coming to take their spot. Yeah, almost done with the Jordan challenge. Let's go to the NBA superstars are judged by their championships. In 1991, Michael Jordan and the Bulls secured their first, knocking off Magic Johnson and the Lakers. To some, a passing of the torch from one great dynasty to another. But now, a new challenge emerges from Los Angeles. A young Lakers team who tonight will lean on their high-flying youngster, Kobe Bryant. A hazy winter day as we fly over downtown Chicago. Down below, the buzz is stirring in the United Center. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we expect to pack house for this matchup between the Los Angeles Lakers and the hometown Chicago Bulls. With Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. Mike, this could potentially be a preview of the NBA Finals. Kevin, coming off two straight titles, the Bulls have to be considered the favorites in the East. They've weathered injuries, most notably the absence of Scottie Pippen, but make no mistake, they'll be ready come playoff time. They got a good challenge tonight. And Clark looking at the Lakers, talent inside and out with Shaquille O'Neal, who's not going to play tonight, all-star Eddie Jones, and the terrific rising star Kobe Bryant. Clark, how do they stack up in the loaded Western Conference? Kevin, I think they stack up quite well, but I also think that Utah will be heard from. They'd like another shot at the Bulls in the finals, but you look at this Lakers team, they are young, up and coming, and I think they've got a chance, a nucleus of players where they've got a chance to be good for a very long time. Now taking a look at the starting lineup for the Lakers. They'll have Nick Van Exel and Eddie Jones at the two guard spots. Rick Fox and Robert Ory at the forwards. Eldon Campbell is manning the middle once again, filling in for the injured Shaquille O'Neal. And for the defending champion Chicago Bulls, Ron Harper is in at the one, and Michael Jordan joining him in the backcourt. Tony Kukoc at the small forward. The rebounding machine, Dennis Rodman at power forward. Luke Longley is back in the starting lineup after missing Monday's game with a sprained ankle. And both of these teams missing star players with injury. For the Bulls, Scottie Pippen recovering from foot surgery. And for the Lakers, Shaquille O'Neal is out until Christmas with an abdominal strain. Hey Clark, when you talk about the absence of Scottie Pippen, it's been rumored he'd welcome a change of scenery. You're exactly right, Kevin, and those are more than just rumors now. I mean, he said on multiple occasions he'll never play for the Bulls ever again. With the trade deadline approaching in February, some tough decisions for Chicago's front office. But Clark, to say he'll never play for the Bulls again, that, that seems a little harsh. It does, I agree. Now, here's Fox. Dishes it to Bryant. Rodman against Van Exel. The pass to Orr. And the dunk by Ori. Ori. Going up against this idol Clark on a big stage should be quite the test for this young Kobe Bryant. 
There is no denying that is true. But what I like is the fact that this young man has the confidence to handle that pressure in big stage. But I think it's important that he try to idle himself down a little bit and not get too caught up in the individual matchup with MJ. Yeah, that's good advice. And, you know, Campbell knows his role on this squad yeah, to score when his name is called, patrol the boards, and protect the rim. And Campbell drills both of them. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Knocked loose. Jordan down low. Working on Bryant. Kukoc, 4-3. Rebound by Van Exel. Shoots over Harper. And the basket by Van Exel. Love the energy on his drive. The defense didn't expect that coming from him. Well, Mike, it'll be interesting to see if this veteran Chicago Bulls team can slow down that Laker up-tempo offense. What we have is a clash of different styles here. The number one scoring offense of the Lakers versus the stout defense of the Bulls. Their offense is in big trouble. Well, they seem to be in a rush to get out of this rough spot, and that's adding to their frustration. The Bulls off to a slow start. Six-point game. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. Out to the wing. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. To halt the run, and Jordan with the layup. Jordan has led the league in scoring nine times, and it may be ten times after this season. It's a tall order for anybody to guard him, especially a 19-year-old. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. You know, he's done it nine times throughout his career already, and Michael Jordan about to do it again, averaging 26 points a game, which leads the NBA. What's remarkable is 26 points is actually a low average for Jordan. He's put up nearly 32 points per game through his first 12 seasons. My goodness, that dude is good. Now here's Harper. Jordan inside. Ori defending. And a him attacking like this early on. Going right to the rack. Hunting for high percentage looks is a great way to get your game started. Here's Campbell. The offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. Boy, clean the glass nicely. And Campbell put it right back up and down. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. And here's Jordan outside. Connects from three-point range. Jordan's got 11. Jordan has looked very sharp here early on. And that's not a good sign for the Lakers. And Coach Fratello will have to monitor that index finger on the shooting hand of Michael Jordan. He dislocated it about a week ago against the New York Knicks. Yeah, it happened on a hard fall to the floor. And since then, you can see that he's been more selective with his jump shots. Not just the handles. How about the finish? Ooh. Powerful. Tremendous job by him. Yeah, putting the skills together. Great stuff. Here's Van Exel after the Bulls pick up two. Back to Bryant. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way on the wing, Kukoc. And the Bulls tack on two more. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean... He's a threat every time up the floor. Outside, Fox. Back to Van Exel. Off the mark, his first miss of the game, one for two. Clark, what a performance offensively. They're really rolling at that end of the floor. Excellent game plan and execution. Fox with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Fox, no good. And how about the defense right there? doing an excellent job bothering the shooter without giving in and fouling him. Rodman against Campbell. Pulls up on the elbow. And it's Jordan. That time on the assist from Rodman. 15 points in the game. These Lakers currently boast the top offense in the NBA. Third place. And now only trails Wilt Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Dennis Rodman is out there with Tony Kukoc. And it's Michael Jordan. Then there's Long, And it's Brown in a point guard. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. 
gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. Short. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And that's now 30 points for Jordan. And talking about Jordan, Clark, he passed Malone on the scoring list while playing in 461 fewer games. That's amazing to me. It really is, Kevin. And at his current scoring rate, how about this? MJ could pass Wilt if he plays just one oh, more season, but wow. there's no guarantee that he will play another year. Or he gets the bucket. Watching Horry get going inside, pretty good stuff. Not just an outside sniper, but a more than capable post player as well. Kobe against Jordan. From deep three-point range, a shot off that time, and it's the Lakers the other way. Ori against Kukoc. Here's Van Exel. It's good from long range. Van Exel's got five. The green light is always on for Van Exel. This left his shoes without hesitation. Kobe Bryant is currently the top scoring reserve in the NBA. At just 19 years old, this young man is averaging 17 points, four boards, three assists, and almost two steals. That is stuffing the stat sheet and playing just 26 minutes per game. Jones checked in for the Lakers. And Kobe Bryant, he's given the Lakers, Mike, starter-level production in limited minutes. It's been so valuable to have that scoring punch off the bench. Right now, Kobe has to be the leading candidate for sixth man of the year. I think he's going to win it. Jordan, the best. Ryan against Jordan. Jacks up a three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Jordan's got nine points now in the quarter. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. The Lakers have really come out in attack mode in this one. I love the aggressiveness and the assertiveness. I like that they're not settling for anything. They're being in charge and taking charge. They've been intent on getting high quality shots and it's paying off. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Took the smaller defender to task inside. Great recognition of the mismatch. Bulls shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Personal foul. Short, no good on the free throw. Lakers trailed by 12. Michael Jordan, as you can see, Coach Fratello putting on a show for the home crowd, just scoring at will. Well, with Kobe Bryant in town and all the hype around him, Michael had plenty of motivation coming into this game. And you can see it with how assertive he's been on offense. Sure can. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. And Mike, there's a surprise. An intentional foul. That team, that really helps. Harper, he's checked in for the Bulls. And the Lakers have possession. Trailing by 10. After finishing last season as the league's highest scoring team, the Bulls' offense has struggled to start the year, averaging just 92 points per game, which is the fifth lowest in the NBA. Jordan with the bucket. Just a little right back at you. Payback right there. He was not about to let that triple go unanswered. Outside, Kobe. They double team Kobe. Jones kicks to Kobe. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. He had a nice open look right there. And Exel's got nine points in the quarter. And with the Bulls offense, efficiency, Clark, has been a real problem. Yeah, you know, you look at what they've shot, 43% from the field, only 30% from downtown, Kevin, and only 68% from the line. I mean, those all rank towards the bottom of the league, maybe just a little bit of a championship hangover being experienced. Yeah, perhaps. Those are very un-Chicago-like numbers. Pass to Campbell. Outside Bryant, five to shoot. Fires the three. 
count that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut down now to just six points with that basket from Van Exel. Tell you what, he's going to have a lot more chances to knock down shots if he continues to shoot like that from the three-point line. Just watch the lanes open wider as the defense creeps toward the perimeter. So far, Mike, so good for Jordan. That finger hasn't been an issue for him in these first two, two quarters of the game. Yeah, he's playing through the discomfort and scoring well here in the early stages. Back to Bryant. Launches a three. And another three Kobe for the Lakers. Bryant. Kobe looking to score early and often. He's come. We've got a fun matchup between the Chicago Bulls and the visiting Los Angeles Lakers. While Shaq's been out, Eddie Jones has been the Lakers' leading scorer. And he was named the NBA Player of the Month in November. With averages of just over 21 points per game, 3.6 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and 2.4 steals per game. And on the four for Bernard Moon as we get into the second half. They've got Campbell. Jones is up there with Van Exel. And it's Fox. And it's Ori in at the four. With time running down on the shot clock. And with Jones, Clark, he's coming off a 32-point performance last night in the Twin Cities against Minnesota. Kevin, no denying he's been great offensively, but you also can't overlook his impact on defense. I mean, he's been one of the league's premier wing defenders this season. And we know player of the month, as we just talked about. Yep. Bulls leading by 23. Outside Harper. Fires from deep. Good. And it's Jordan picking up third assist on the night. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their yeah, offense looks so pedestrian. He scores efficiently and moves the ball with ease. Van Exel, such a great asset to his team. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Coming out of halftime, they're on an absolute tear. And I don't know what was said in that locker room, but it's working. Dennis Rodman's domination on the glass, unprecedented. He's a glass eater like no other. Led the league in rebounding for six straight seasons and could make it a seventh this year. No other player has done it more than five times. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ryan's checked in. Really left alone that time. Fox has got five points so far. Fox showing you he can spray it from deep now. The defense cannot afford to lose track of him behind the arc. Jordan way outside. And the Bulls get it back. Odman passes to Kukoc. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Kukoc has got his second bucket of the night. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Kobe. Hits it from three-point range. Hey, Mike, when you look at Rodman, he's averaging 14, yeah, 14 rebounds a game this season. It's unbelievable. Look, Kev, even though he's leading the league, 14 rebounds is less than he's used to having. In his <laughs> previous six seasons, Rodman averaged an incredible 17 rebounds per game. These numbers are hard to, hard to believe, aren't they? I think sometimes they shoot and miss on purpose just so he can get another rebound. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> Chicago with the ball. Here's Rodman. He kicks to Kukoc. The shot's good. Rodman making the play. Rodman's got assist number five here tonight. To the paint. Here's Ori. And the dunk by Ori. Van Exoy shooting guard and a point guard's body. That time creating for his teammate. Well, filling in for Shaq is not an easy task, but Eldon Campbell is doing an excellent job. In the last 13 games without O'Neal, he's averaging 18.7 rebounds and two blocks. Outside, Kobe. Back to Van Exel. Harper with the steal. Fox with the steal. To the inside. And Bryant slams it in. 
Turning defense into offense. Yep, he had no doubt. Diddy Clark, he was going to take it all the way. Love the activity defensively, leading to points. And talking about Campbell Clark, he's actually the oldest and longest tenured Laker on their roster. Yeah, back in the 1990 yeah, draft, so. Campbell was selected 27, just two spots ahead of Tony Kukoc. And as a rookie, he was a member of that Lakers team that fell to Jordan and the Bulls in the finals as the Bulls captured their first of five titles. Gaffey, he's checked in for the Bulls. Brown comes in for Kukoc. The Lakers also changing it up. Blunt, he's checked in for Campbell. And Fisher subbed in for Ben Exel. Pass to Fisher, but three. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. Now tonight, and regarding the dunk contest, it'll be replaced with the two-ball contest on All-Stars Saturday night. What do you think? I like it, Kevin. I do. I like the fact that it'll be fun to watch NBA and WNBA players team up. But it makes you wonder if this is going to be a permanent change. Hopefully, we'll see the return of the dunk contest at some point. But I like taking a break and adding something new. But I think we will see that dunk contest. I think it will be permanent uh, in terms of being back in All-Star Weekend. He had the eye of the tiger there. You could see it, how determined he was to get to the rim on that fast break. And that's the attitude you need to have. Get right to the iron and get something easy. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Burrell, he's checked in for Bushman. Kerr against Fisher. Now here's Jordan. And he comes up with the deuce. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. A three-pointer is right on target. In this fourth quarter, they have excelled from deep. And obviously getting hot from deep. Couldn't come at a better time. Out to the right wing. Here's Barry. Poked away. Mike, they have been fantastic tonight, haven't they? What a performance from them. Count that one. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Here's Barry. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Barry's gone one for five from the field, 20%. And here's Jordan outside. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Whenever he takes a three, that's a good shot. Plus, he had a good look at the bucket. You Bulls see why this foul. team is up big. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. Second. That'll be his foul. second foul of the game. First team foul. 131 left in the game. Coming on to the floor for the Lakers. And so it looks like the Lakers Rick will retain Fox. possession here. Don Humphreys. Out of bounds. Los Angeles ball. Chicago foul. Michael Jordan. Third personal foul. The first free throw is good. Second team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. John Barry. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Jordan outside. It's hauled in by Barry. And the foul Bulls called foul. on Michael Jordan. Michael that will Jordan. get him his fourth foul of the game. Fourth and due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. This is not foul. what they needed. I mean, now the clock is stopped the and their opponent the is at the line. That's a double whammy. I'm sure Coach was reminding everyone, don't foul at the start of that possession. Obviously, he didn't get the message. At the line for your Bulls. Michael First free throw is good. Two shots. Both free throws, good for Jordan. 109 left to play in the final quarter. And here we go, Jordan going to the hoop. And Jordan throws it down. 
Excellent lines of communication there. How about that, Clark? The pass, the catch, totally in rhythm. Beautiful. It's almost like they were in each other's heads. Well done. Knocks it loose. For three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And with this last run, they have shut the door on any chance of a comeback. Shut the door door, turned off the lights, and locked it up. Fantastic run for them to end the game. Here's Barry. Here's Campbell. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Didn't allow the defense to overwhelm him there, and that's a testament to Campbell's strength and focus. Gets it to go. That one good from Wennington. I really like how they've worked to get the best shot. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Showing great patience there. A total team effort in this regard. Everyone working together and being selfless on offense. He's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. With time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. And he banks in the layup. When Winnington's inside, though, he's more opportunistic in trying to score, although he is a selective shooter. Passes it to Campbell. Going inside. Basket good. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. Jordan with it. From deep three-point range. And so it's the Chicago Bulls getting the win in front of their home crowd. An important victory, Coach, for them here against the up-and-coming L.A. Lakers. Well, Michael gets the best of Kobe, while the Bulls capture their third straight win. And they need it, as they're trying to move up in the standings in this cutthroat Eastern Conference. And Clark, what does this loss mean, do you think, for the Lakers? Um, I The last pass he saved with the Lakers. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to like, hit the follow button, and I'll see you guys.